Hi everyone, my name is Becky from Back to Blighty and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing all the things that I made in August, a bit late, I know we're in the middle of September but I finally got around to it and also I'll be including some shots of me wearing those things so that you can see them in all of their glory. So let's make a start. So the first thing I made in August was this shirt that I'm wearing and it's the new look 6704, I'll show you a little close up. So there you go, it's just this shirt pattern. I made the version without the pockets um, because I wanted to wear it with something else, which I'll show you in a minute. So I shall stand up and show you a few of the details. So as you can see, it's got these shell buttons that I got from a textile garden down the front. Um, and I'm wearing it today with my Decades of Style 40s trousers, which I love, especially for work. Um, it fits really nicely. I made it before. I made it in a cheap um, polyester cotton blend and I liked the fit so I didn't change a thing and I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's got this lovely sort of little olive detail which I really like and I know I'm going to wear it a lot for work but I'm also going to wear it with my second mate from August. So the other part of the outfit I made in August to go with this top were the Wearing History World War II Homefront overalls and if you've seen me before on my blog you will know that I made a denim pair and I really wanted another pair so I decided to make them again in a cotton drill. I found this olive cotton drill which is really gorgeous from CNH Fabrics and it's a bit lighter. I probably won't wear them all that much in the winter, I'll probably stick to the denim ones but they're really nice and lightweight and they're great for sort of, you know, taking the dog out or doing a bit of the gardening and things like that. So I know they're going to be used a lot. Um, I found these buttons in the Stitch Green Lewis, which are perfect. Sort of got that vintage workwear feel. And I also top stitched round the edges with a cream top stitch thread. I made one change to the pattern, which I made before. Now the pattern calls for like a bias bound top. Um, and I don't think that's very substantial, so I normally make a facing. I'm just going to undo the button so I can show you what I mean. So along the top, I make a facing to go inside, just to give it a little bit more structure. And I've bound the seams with some bias binding that I made just out of a floral cotton. And I also did the same inside the pocket. So here are my pockets. And inside, you can see that I just did a little trim. No one can see it makes me happy um, so I know I'm going to get loads and loads of wear out of them so I'm going to put a little clip in of me wearing them so that you can see them in all their glory Now another thing I made in August was my safari dress and you can hop over to my blog to read a bit more about this one you may remember this gorgeous fabric really like it um, it's a Michael Miller print and it's just beautiful quality I love it so this was the simple sew skater dress bodice and um, so I used that and then I just made a pleated skirt um, by just working out how much fabric I had and what would work well um, love it I'll show you the back it's got a V back and invisible zip and also I lined the bodice with some superior lining from Truro Fabrics can't recommend that enough I love that stuff um, really pleased with the dress I'm gonna wear it a lot obviously weather's changed here in Blighty so not gonna get much wear out of it now but I know that next year it's gonna be out all the time and I really love it so I shall insert another clip here I also had some scuba in August that I showed you in my last video and I wasn't sure and looking back at the video I didn't look too impressed with it and I have to say I'm not I'm not a scuba lover it's just not me but I did make a pencil skirt I shall show you now here it is I just self drafted it um, it was fine really easy to make really easy to sew I just don't like the feel of it I I don't like it against my skin it rides up a little bit I just it's just not me I don't feel comfortable in it but I have put it on so that I can show you and give you a twirl however this one will be going to a charity shop and hopefully someone will love it um, and at least I know now that it's not for me unless I can feel a scuba and feel what it's really like um, I'm not going to be buying any more online anytime soon 
So that was another project I made in August and here is a bit more of that. remember I decided to take part in the British Heart Foundation upcycling challenge and I found a dress with butterflies all over it that was a little bit stained under the arm wasn't very nice but I really loved the fabric and I made it into a skirt so here is the skirt so I'm so pleased with it it's just gorgeous it's everything I wanted I put an invisible zipper in the back and I also did a tie detail which I can wear at the front or the back um, so really pleased, um, I know I'm going to wear it a lot next summer, it's really gorgeous, really floaty and lovely and I shall insert a clip here. Another thing that wasn't on my August plans but I ended up making anyway was the Seamwork Astoria sweater. Everyone's been going on about this and raving about it and I can now see why because it's brilliant. Um, I made it in a grey mull, um, really like this fabric, it's really soft, it wasn't expensive but it just washes really nicely and it takes about three quarters an hour to make, I couldn't believe it, it I just whipped it up, it was brilliant so I'm going to be making a lot more of these especially for work. Um, I'll show you a clip here of me wearing it with my Decades of Style high waisted trousers so you can have a bit of a look. Now one thing I didn't get round to making last month was anything out of this lovely fabric. Um, it will be something, it is going to be a dress and I think now that autumn is almost upon us, the leaves are falling from the trees, it reminds me of this time of year so much so I will be making something out of that. Not quite sure what yet, um, if you've got any ideas please let me know, but that will be on my things to do list for next month. So that's it from the sewing room today, I hope you've enjoyed spending a little bit of time with me. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video or click to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye!